ladies I had that gentle tips right here next to this gorgeous old uh, beautiful continental and today and it's happening we're finally finally going to go do the train museum video today at the uh, historic Santa Fe depot I went fully out of my way and all, and I called ahead and everything. Now, I did a museum video here, but it was like all the way back in like, I want to say like 2017 or 18 maybe. And uh, I did it with my GoPro helmet cam and stuff. So now that we got like a good camera that we can actually like focus on artifacts with and stuff, uh, we can go ahead and um, get a better view, better look and maybe a more in-depth synopsis on the cool shit in there so as stated before the santa fe railroad has a lot a lot of uh, pretty much rich ass history all the way back towards the 1800s and uh as i've stated before if you haven't heard the fact it's been in uh an angelina jolie movie i think it was the i think it's called the others or some shit like that i haven't seen it i just saw the factoid about it on the museum website and um all this other cool shit but the museum's an actually like really cool museum and if you're like one of those train dickheads that loves trains and stuff i think you're gonna be in for a treat on this video especially now with the new camera where you can actually like get up close and personal and focus in on stuff i think it'll be cool what the fuck the dude's got a fake plastic gun and he's pointing it at shit It looks like those guns like that you would have at an arcade machine, like a Time Crisis gun. So it's supposed to be 93 today, so there really can't be any more perfect day for this to for us to be able to do this, so that's awesome. Don't worry, I made that light. Oh, how hot did it say it was on here? 89? It's 89 already? I think it's like 11 o'clock in the morning already. What the hell? So I know I need to go over the bridge here. I, I've been to this place a million times and I always forget how the hell to get here. I think there's a bridge right here on 5th, yeah. Oh my god, yesterday I had some like final destination shit happen and like my bike was saved by a pole. So I, I went to go get some dill, dill caco yesterday, which yeah, I know it's nothing good. But uh, I just went to go get some Del Caco. I park my bike and I walk about 10 steps away from my bike. And all of a sudden, I hear a, I hear tires lock up. I look back and like an old like V6 Mustang fucking assing in the air. And T-Bones, it's like some Ford Edge or some shit. The Ford Edge goes and, and rolls towards my bike in this just random, just random ass like metal pole that was sticking out of the ground held that truck back from uh hitting my bike and i was just awestruck on that and i'll show you i got a little video of it like literally as right after it happened and the guys got out of their car but dude i actually man because there was a high curb on the other side of my my bike so if that car would have just plowed into my bike it probably would have just fucking warped the entire frame and just fucked my entire bike all from someone being a fucking idiot all right we're almost there yeah holy shit there's actually a lot of cars here hmm any front door parking yes yes Yes. Welcome to the old historic Santa Fe Depot. And let's go check out the beautiful museum. All right, so here is uh, the entrance of the museum here. You see a guy right there that looks like he literally just stepped out of the bathroom with a wet tip. You can see a uh, elk that was ran over by a train in 1873. And you can literally see trains going by right out the back door. See, this is what I think is cool. They got, like, actual old hats here. Like, look at this shit. This is, like, stuff you would see in movies and shit. Brake man, baggage man, conductor, brakeman, passenger agent. They make it all sound legit. The porter, brakeman. 
These are so cool. I wonder what year these are from. Let's see. Look, an employee's timetable from 1904. Wow. In 1927, it looks like the train cost $99,000, which is, that's like cheap as shit in today's age. <laughs> and here's some uh, old pictures of what the place used to look like. That's the one that burnt down right there. That one caught fire and burnt down. And there's an old overview of the city. Basically old map routes. And those red dots, that means that you can get a drink in uh, Beat Cheeks at any of those stops. Right here looks like an old 1899 Locomobile. Oh, it was a steam-powered automobile. Oh, look at that dope-ass flag. That's the San Bernardino, California on it. I would love to have that. Santa Fe train held up. Right here looks like some old trinkets from back in the day. That they were on the, uh, like, imagine being able to take a train and, like, you get to eat and drink out of the stuff. That'd be absolutely awesome. That's some high-quality Tupperware there. Oh, look at that. What the hell is that? Compliments of Santa Fe thing right there. That is so cool. That's a 1946 San Bernardino locomotive, I guess? Question mark? I'm pretty sure this is legit silver. If not, then I'd be mistaken, but look at that. Look at the quality of that shit. It's got Santa Fe stamps on it. Jeez, man, you know that stuff's high-ass quality. Like, they even got, like, little bills where you can, like, make beats with it. Like, no shit, I could literally use that thing and tap out a little beat and mix it into a literal, like, slapper. Oh my god, look at that. Pressed tablets. How cool. Oh, that is badass. Look at that. That is cool. It says 1907. That thing was made over a hundred years ago. That is cool. Like an old little floor placa or some shit from 1925. Dude, this stuff is cool. Like the whole theme of it, it just has that old like fallout vibe to it. You feel me? Look at that. Look at that. That's so dope. Holy shit, look, there's ribbons from 1898 in there. Look at the condition of it. 1904. 1905. Holy shit, that's cool. 1810 to 1910. Oh, it looks like actual found arrowheads. Look at, look at, the, look at the shape of that one in the back on the corner. So this picture is from 1933. And I'm assuming these all were people involved in this place back in the day. Look at old hole punches. That's sick. Look at this thing right here. A little opera house San Bernardino something. Not sure what it's trying to advertise there, but uh, right here. Oh shit, that's the old house that was in downtown San Bernardino. It's demolished now, but look, it says 1882 Opera House on the top. Wow. See, this is shit I'd have hanging up in my house. See, that's that's the Opera House of 1882 right there. That was actually in downtown San Bernardino at one point. I've seen that in old videos and pictures. Not videos, but pictures. Gold scale and inkwell used at Starks Hotel at 3rd and Arrowhead in the 1870s. Oh my god, that is so cool. And I'm assuming that's the place that it was talking about. Dude, San Bernardino was literally Wild West. Like, literally. Lit. Trail. E. Oh my god, look at that bottle. It says San Bernardino Drug company oh my god this is cool why do I not remember seeing this stuff back in the day but now you guys can see it in a lot more detail because I don't have like an old GoPro Hero 4 on a helmet oh dude this is so cool 
Since these had little value in the US, these were used as tokens in games the Chinese played. The coins are all from the Qing Dynasty, 1750 to 1890. Right there, look at that. Dude, imagine me digging those up. That's where they, they found a cache of these at that park that I metal detected that, you know, the old Chinatown park I always talk about metal detecting. They found thousands of these in the ground there. And I couldn't even get one. Couldn't get one left behind. Antique Chinese coins from an archaeological dig at the former site of San Bernardino's Chinatown. Literally what I just said. Oh, damn, they have like a whole San Bernardino thing here. Look. San Bernardino Mission Outpost 1820s. Old Pioneer Grist Mill 1852. Look at this. Northeast 3rd and E Street 1876. Oh, my God. 3rd and C Arrowhead. Dude. Like, these are the places you see me riding all the time. Look at that dope-ass courthouse. That would have been sick if that was still there. Like, I really love this stuff, man. This is really cool. Like an old, like, fire thing. Oh, yeah, there's also old uh, fire department history stuff here. This is pretty cool. Look at these quality of these hats, too, man. These things are really nice. And there's some old badges in there. April 17th, 1900. Ladder contest prize. And it's sitting right there 121 years later. How fucking cool is that? With their names engraved in it and all. May 1908 hose contest damn they literally had a rope shooting contest and right here i like this i like these little cool trinkets this is the stuff that interests me a lot these are all old keys badges i think there's police badges in here like old rail yep right there railroad police badges and look how fucking awesome these locks look too that is just so cool so interesting Right here were the old uh, control boxes back in the day. You can see him saying, breaker, 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 breaker. You're about to run over a crackhead at third and arrowhead over. Divert tracks. And look at all these old G-rides. Studebaker Broham. <laughs> Broham. Used in San Bernardino circa 1880s. So this is the shit that people had like 15-inch subs bumping in the back of it in, in the 1880s. Look at this. How cool. Tally ho carriage. <laughs> Carrying around a couple tally hoes. <laughs> Yo, you trying to roll in the carriage and pick up a couple tally hoes? Oh yeah, here's the here's a closer look at the fire apparatus. Oh, these are all orange show stuff. San Bernardino's five points, streets left to right, Mill Street, E Street, Colton Avenue, and Mill Street. Circa late 1920s. Wow, that's actually where the orange show is. Where like the Inland Center Mall and shit is. I wonder if that building's still there. There's a lot of buildings that look like that in the city still. Oh my god, look at this clock. That thing was made in 1952. And it's like a literal marble clock. That is so cool. And this looks like some old like baggage stuff. Iron workers in 1929. Just straight OG in it. These are on sale. Damn, seventy-five dollars. Holy shit! These must be old books. Wait, I think these are old books. Oh, look, it's a clock, like an altitude meter. Damn, for five bucks, it's cheap. Five dollar caps. You know what? I'm gonna get me a cap too while I'm here. I'm gonna try to support the place and get a couple things. Bill from the U.S.S. San Bernardino. Man, that thing's nice. 
Let's see where it was sitting. It was on this ship. Damn, nice. Damn, it was in Desert Storm. How oh, cool. And these are like old plaques that must have been sitting here that they had to take off, but they have here in the museum. If you guys want to pause and read that, looks like the history of the station. Oh, Fred T. Paris. He's who Paris Hill Park's named after. That that park I go to where I ride my bike to the top in the on that mountain behind it. I think that's him right there. Rare Santa Fe calendar tops, only one dollar each. Dude, you could like. Dude, you can hang these things up, man, for art. Damn, some VHS, though. Watch them have, like, faces of death in here randomly. Best of 1989. Like, the year in total? Oh, trains. Trains. Oh, shit. Holcomb? Dude, look at this gun. Oh, my gosh. This is so fucking cool. Look at the barrel on that motherfucker. I bet that thing weighs a ton. Look at that thing. Wow, that is so cool. Early 1800s. Moore and Company double barreled shotgun. Cap and ball. Look at that thing. Other ones early 1800s as well above it. Guns belonging to early pioneer of San Bernardino Valley, William Bill Holcomb. Oh my god. Dude, that guy was like a pioneer out here. Like a literal pioneer. He's There's a whole section of the mountains called Holcomb Valley. Literally named after this guy. And these are his actual guns. That is absolutely awesome. And over here it looks like is a big uh, equipment section. More of the cool locks. Pens. Patches. Oh, these guys again. That guy literally tried to have a threesome with this dude and her. And what their faces are telling me right now is that these two are pretty much the primary cheek beaters. And this guy was just sitting in the back of the room rubbing his tip with that face, saddened that he couldn't participate in the glory hole action. Don't worry, brother. Don't worry, brother. We feel for you. More cool uh, silverware and shit. It says Fred Harvey on the back of those spoons. Santa Fe Road, Cajon Siding, Sullivan's Curve, San Bernardino National Forest. Well, these are like old signs and shit. Oh, shit, look, an old change dispenser. That's cool. I'd love to have something like that. And right here is just a big section of uh, signs and lights for the railroad. Look at the size of these things up close. Holy shit. Dude, look at that fucking wrench. You know that thing weighs like 400 pounds. That's probably the wrench you need to take off the battery cover for Hulk steel with drill dough attachments. Imagine having something like this in your garage. Wow, that's actually for sale. Seeing as the condition of that. And the history behind it, that's pretty cheap. And here we got more model trains. This stuff's dope. This stuff's really well made. Jeez, look at the detail on this one. It's got literal metal parts. This was built in 1935. That's fucking cool. These look like old, like, passes or something, or something cards. 
right here it looks like we got a watch inspector desk so this guy had to sit behind this shit back in the day bored as hell on that comfortable looking chair that looks absolutely like it wouldn't hurt to sit in all day oh dude why, why can't I find stuff like this in the ground when I metal detect man look at this look how cool that shit is just old tools it looks like Oh, this is dope. Oh, these are for sale, these old models. Damn, only 15 bucks. That looks like a really high quality metal little model. I like that. If it was a car I liked, I would have got it. If it was like a Miata, you know? No, I'm just playing. 027 train. And right here, it looks like maybe the railroad police handgun and holster. That is cool. That is actually really cool. I like that. I'd love to see what that thing looks like out of the holster. An old picture of San Bernardino from the top. So the Santa Fe Yard in 1960. And this is pretty much the end of it here. There's an old photo of the one that burnt down. That was 1886. First permanent Santa Fe depot. And then in 1960, a fire destroyed it. Before after and there's construction of the new one in 1917 oh, I never really got a good look at this it's like an old desk of uh, I'm assuming the people running the shit behind the scenes pretty cool pretty cool alright guys well this is pretty much the gist of the museum it's pretty cool um, I definitely recommend if you're in the area and you like this shit to definitely go and check it out for yourself. There's a lot of stuff like as you can see on this wall you could read. And uh, look this is even history of the Arrowhead Springs Hotel up in the mountains. The Arrowhead Landmark. But uh, San Bernardino's movie places. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys back on the bike. And I'm going to buy a couple things here. Oh, well, there you have her, boys. That was a fun little visit. Like I said, man, the museum's legit for, like, train stuff. Maybe if you like running train, maybe not that kind of train, but if you like actual locomotive trains, then hell yeah. Yuri Birdos. Bro, they, everyone's stealing Alberto's steez, man. I'm telling you. I, I've never even seen that one. So there's another one to add to the list of all the knockoff Alberto's. Alberto's is the original in the game of any Birdo's like restaurant out here. But guys, that's about to be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the cool little historical ropes that we had today. Something a little different. But until then, all links will be down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form. Get one of my shirts, keychains, stickers, etc. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the... <laughs> Add that like button. And you guys have a real good day. I'll see you guys later. Twin!